And I am still and wait here in this silence Until you come and wait a while with me You raise me up so I can stand on mountains You raise me shoulders you raise me up to more
great voice out of heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are past to me. Five and last, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. We will begin by singing the hymn, what she says with Eileen waking. Lo, the parts of heaven are shaking. Keep your lamps all trimmed and burned, ready for the Lord's return. What she says with Eileen. Oh uh -huh. 
we know that Jesus is coming. So let us get ourselves together as per his offered. As the dear prompted for the water, so our soul longs after you. You alone that we long desire, and oh God, we long to worship you. We have come from the east and the west, and the north and the south, and without your guidance and your protection, none of us would be here. So we say thank you, Jesus, for traveling with us to be here. We're thankful for your grace and your mercy that has brought us through. And today we can boast that we are living because of you. And we want to thank you and we want to praise you too, because your grace and mercy has brought us through. Keep us safe. Give us victory today. And may your Holy Spirit let loose in this place. And may souls go home rejoicing, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just to give a few instructions. The ladies' room is on my extreme right, and you come in the passage, you come right around, and, um, and just as you just come right around, and the, and the door is on, on your right. There's a urinal on the outside around the back, the first right at the back, there's a urinal, and there's also a male bathroom on the inside. As you enter, you will see the door straight there, right? So that's the male bathroom, and the urinal is on the outside. We will be asking you to, for the, for everything to go smoothly, please put your phone on vibration or silent so that the phone don't disturb because some persons have some serious sounds on the phone. That possible should not be ringing in the house. Amen? Amen. So we will be asking you please to control that. You are free to shout out hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so be free today to worship God. We are in the house of worship and we say welcome to you all. We are happy to have the funeral service of one veteran, Mr. Marshall Plum. We give full support to the family. And may God richly bless us today. I say us because I need that the blessing in my soul as well. And hearts that we work together for the advancement of the kingdom of God. The Lord bless you richly. Thank you.
misprint. All right. Those who are slated for items on the program, the program will run unannounced. So please take note of where you should be and you will do your item from that podium. As we say, the program will go unannounced. If you delay too long, we will continue with the program as we seek to get out of here before the showers come down upon us. At this time, we will have condolences from the SDA Church located in Warsaw. Then we will have first lesson from Nisha Plummer, niece, and musical tribute Vanessa Plummer, granddaughter, and Tia Anderson in that order. Condolences at this time. of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Warsaw, we say condolence to the church is for the community and we give full support to the family members we continue to pray for the family members we continue to encourage and whatever we can do as a church we are happy and so we we know that debt is a must But there is hope for God's people. And so, cheer up, Plummer's family. You know what that is like. Marcy, Ms. Aina, and Marsha. Lady, they have grown up in this church. They have started with the church, and somehow we can't find much of the plumbers in the church. But we will be seeking for you, and we will be coming after you. And there is a program planned for you because. You must make it to the kingdom of heaven. So we are here and we are going to give you full support. You will see your phone ringing. Don't push it in your pocket. You will see um, um, invitations. Build back the old ways. Remember the rules. And in all your achievements, don't forget about God. The last time I, I sat here, I stand, stood here, and read from the same Bible um, was when I came to, to, to bury Daddy, uh, Lady, Lady Plummer. Um, and I'm really sorry that I'm going to have to do the same thing again to, 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 to bury um, Brother Marshy, which is what I call him. Um, I know that it says on the thing that I'm going to give a testimony. Uh, 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 think, I can't think. Um, I'm going to say something about it, but I'm saying it now that when Daddy passed away, he was my second father, and he was there, and we, we chat every single Sunday when I'm cooking dinner, 
he would call me and make sure that he, he reminded me that don't worry about it, everything's all right. And then, you know, Uncle Listin took over and um, he, he called me every single day, almost, for the last year and a half. So thank you, Uncle Listin, um, and thank you for helping me. And, and because, you know, I was a proper daddy's girl, so I'm, I appreciate every single thing that you've done. Um, Vaughn and Jeff, I'm sorry that I have to stand here again and, and say some, you know, read, read the Bible about your dad, your daddy. But life goes on, okay? And everything will be fine. Sister May, everything will be fine. So the reading today is from Job 14, uh, verses 1 and 2, and then I'm going to read from 10 to 14. Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. But man dieth and wasted away, yet man giveth up ghosts, and where is he? As the waters fail or fall from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dries up, so man lieth down and riseth not. Till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. O thou that wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret, until thy wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my time change come. Amen. to my Aunt May and pretty much anybody here who feels like you're hanging on to your last kind of hope, I just want to say that once you have faith in God, He will pull you through. The woman need a healing from a dreaded disease Her money brought physician But only Jesus could bring relief And though her last thread of hope It was borne down to a strand Her heart held on to faith so she could touch you with the rest Cause when you're hanging by a thread Still you can climb life's mountain Though the cliffs are rough and jagged You can go Thank you. 
that last train of hope. We continue. Second lesson will be done by Kila Plummer, followed by his Worship the Mayor, Colin Gager, then Rayon Plummer, and Pastor Amin Carter. The second lesson is taken from Psalms 90, reading from verse 1 through to 12. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and says, Return! ye children of man, of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou, thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourished, it flourished and groweth up, in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spent our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and the ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet in their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. This is the word of the Lord. Pastors Fuller, Carter, and McLeod. Elders, good morning, everyone. Today, I am pleased to pay tribute to Mr. Marshall Plummer, a man who was admired and respected in the community of Warsaw and adjoining areas. Mr. Plummer was a very good and loving man who was a farmer and he also operated his hardware store that sells everything. Marshall started from nothing until he became a household name. Marshall got along well with everyone and I know he will be missed but more than that many persons who knew him would have learned something from the life he lived he was kind and very considerate Mr. Plummer was very jovial and down-to-earth he was one who was highly respected Growing up as a boy, I had great admiration for him. I watched him in his business, one that sold from pin to an anchor. And at the Trelawney Municipal Corporation, we did business with him for a number of years, and we were always pleased. He is a man who... He is a man who many admire, and Mr. Plummer's name will live on in this district. I must say his wife, I, ha I happen to have the opportunity to visit with Marshall before he died, 
and I went there unannounced. And I, I just want to congratulate you, Miss May, because when I walk into that place, it was clean. I couldn't smell. Uh, you know, when you go to some home and you have people who, who they are bedridden, there's a little smell. I couldn't. I could sit on the bed. I could lean on the bed anywhere. And I just 